and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Pork Chop Special. This is Richo's favourite go-to meal when he has to cook for a crowd. The ingredients are in the recipe box below them and there are only five of them. So let's get started. Okay, he just lightly greases the pan and over a medium-high heat he fries off the pork chops. These are very lean pork chops. He leaves the rind on them as well. Now we just peel and slice our onions, mushrooms and apples. The apples peeled and cored and then just thinly sliced. The onions thickly sliced. Okay, when the meat is nicely browned on one side, it's time to turn it over. Okay, now amp the heat up a little bit and brown it nicely on the other side before adding the remaining ingredients. Give it a couple of minutes first. Okay, just loosen them from the bottom of the pan now. Okay, now we just lay in his onion slices, the apple slices. Just start the apples and the onions cooking a little bit before adding the mushrooms. Okay, once the apples and onions have softened slightly, it's in with the mushrooms. Okay, now he pops the lid on there just to let those vegetables steam a little bit for about five minutes. Okay, after about five minutes, just remove the lid. Let the steam. And you've got a can of Campbell condensed cream of chicken soup. And he tips that in now. And that's got plenty of flavouring in that. And then he just rinses the can out with some fresh water to dilute it. This soup is designed to be used with either a can of equal quantities of milk or water to the soup contents. As the moisture and juices are released from the mushrooms and onion and apple that will also dilute that soup. Okay now it's in with the half a can of water that has diluted the remaining contents that was stuck to the inside of the can. Give it a bit of a stir around. Release all those caramelised pan juices from the bottom of the pan. Just dissolve that remaining soup into the juice in the bottom of the pan. Now once that soup's all mixed in, we just sit the pork chops back on top, coat them in the sauce. All right, once those pork chops are well and truly coated, we pop the lid on and we just gently simmer it for about 20 minutes until the pork chops are tender and the apples have sweated down and have contributed to the sauce. Okay, after 20 minutes, this is what you should have. The sauce has thickened up, the vegetables have broken down and the pork is fork tender. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's go-to pork chops. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. We're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Have a little taste, shall we? Apple. Mm, that is superb. Beautiful flavour. Moist, tender meat with the tart, sweet apples and the caramelised onions. Thanks for watching.